Everything you need to know about repairing your credit by howtogrowcredit.com. While you watch this video, please consider subscribing. If you like this content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below with any comments and questions. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you have a YouTube channel, let us know that you followed us and we'll follow you back. Let's grow together. When the video ends, make sure to check out our list of credit building links below. And you can get up to two free stocks with Webull. One valued between $2.50 through $250, and the second valued between $12 and $1,400. Then, take a look at the rest of the content on this channel and our website, howtogrowcredit.com, both with new content added daily. Bad credit will make so many projects out of the most irritating potential detours you can encounter on your journey through life. It can take away choices and keep you from enjoying wonderful opportunities. There are a few things you can take to start repairing your credit now. Secured credit cards are an effective way for you to start rebuilding your credit. Most people can get this type of card, but you will have to load it up with a prepaid amount of money as a guarantee that you can pay any charges that you make. A new credit card, used responsibly, will help repair your credit rating. You will be able to buy a mortgage if you have a good credit rating. Making regular mortgage payments on time helps raise your credit score. This will be useful if you need to borrow money. Start by paying off credit cards with accounts 50% over your limit. You can concentrate on another card once these accounts are lowered to under half of your limit. You should keep your balances under 50%, anything over this and you can lower your credit rating, so spread out the money you own and pay down your credit cards. Interest rates. Make sure you research a credit counselor before you visit them. There are a lot of unscrupulous agencies scattered in among the few legitimate credit counselors that are there to help you. Some are simply fraudulent and are out to get your money. To help protect yourself from fraud, investigate any credit counselors. One way to check an agency out is to check with the Better Business Bureau. You can dispute inflated interest rates. Creditors are skirting a fine line of the law when they hit you with high interest rates. You did however sign a contract saying that you will pay off all interests as well as the debt. You may wish to make a legal claim that the interest rates are too high if you want to sue your lenders. Don't do anything illegal. There are plenty of credit scams that claim to erase your existing credit file and create a new one. This tactic is not legal, and you face serious repercussions if you are caught. The result of getting caught during the crime could be expensive legal fees and a possibility of time behind bars. You need to pay them on time and in full. Your credit rating can improve almost immediately when you pay off some of your past due bills. If you find a mistake on your credit report, be sure to dispute it. Write a dispute letter to any agencies with recorded errors, and include supporting documents. Make sure when you send the dispute package that you request a proof by signature that it was received. You should consider talking directly with the companies from whom you have credit cards. This will enable you from sinking further into debt or further damaging your credit in good standing and repair any damage that may have been caused. One excellent way to get your credit score back up is to close all your credit cards except for one. Then, try to arrange payments or transfer your balances to the one account you left open. This allows you to pay off one credit card bill rather than many smaller ones. Even if the negative report is true, if any of the data pertaining to it is, then you may be possible to have it removed from your credit report. It is important to carefully review your monthly credit card statement. You must get in touch with your credit card issuer as soon as you spot an error to make sure that it is properly handled and does not result in any negative reporting. Joining a credit union is a great way to build your credit score when you are having a difficult time doing so elsewhere. If a creditor agrees to give you a payment plan, get that payment plan in writing. If there is a change of heart, this paper will protect you. Once you finish making all your payments, be sure to send that information to the credit agencies in writing. Pay the balances as soon as you can. Pay down your cards that have the highest interest rates first. This effort will show the positive credit card companies that you are trying to pay your bills and be responsible. Do everything you can to avoid bankruptcy. This will show up on your credit for around 10 years. 
It might seem like a good thing but you will be affected down the line. It could be near impossible to receive a credit card or loan if you have filed for bankruptcy. This will make sure that you retain a good credit status. Late payments are reported to all credit reports and will greatly decrease your chances of being eligible for a home in the future. This is one of the quickest ways to create and maintain a credible financial record. Every time you make a late payment, it is logged in your credit report which can hinder your ability to take out a loan. Credit score improvement. Read every credit card statement you receive in full. Errors are not as rare as you might think. It's up to you to ensure that the charges on your bill are correct and that you haven't been double charged, overcharged or charged for something you didn't buy. You are responsible for the accuracy of the information on your credit card statements. Make sure the credit score improvement agency is legitimate before choosing to work with them. There are lots of shady operators in the credit score repair business that can cost you money and do nothing for you. Numerous people have been the victims of credit score improvement scams. It is somewhat difficult to let derogatory marks stand undefended, but the evidence suggests most lenders don't use those statements in determining creditworthiness. The most it will do is draw more attention to the bad aspects of the report. Don't fall prey to law offices that promise you instant credit score. Since there's so many people struggling with their credit today, predatory lawyers emerged that charge huge fees to repair their clients' credit in ways that are either illegal or useless. Investigate a lawyer thoroughly before hiring them to help you in repairing your credit. Credit cards should be avoided. Pay for things with cash whenever possible. If the purchase you're buying is more than you can currently afford you can use a credit card, but pay it back as soon as possible. A terrible credit crunch can generally be caused by lacking the funds to pay off multiple debts. Even if you are only making minimum payments, you will avoid having the bill sent to collections. Dealing with a debt collection agency is one of the most traumatic parts of a financial crisis. Cease and desist documents can be used to hold back collection agencies, but only to stop the harassment. This will stop the calls from collection agencies, but that doesn't mean consumers can keep ignoring the debt. Prepaid credit cards can help to rebuild your score without late payments or going over your limit. This approach will make you are serious about taking responsibility for your financial future. Your credit score suffers every time you choose to get a new credit card or line of credit. Opening new lines of credit can hurt your score greatly, even if you get approved. As soon as you open a new credit account, your credit score drops immediately. Credit card. Pay down your debt now. The amount you owe compared to your income has a huge impact on your credit score. If you have too much debt for your income, you are viewed as a poor credit risk. You are not likely to be able to pay off the debt in full right away, so you should make a plan to repay in a timely fashion and follow that schedule. Opening additional lines of credit negatively affect your credit score. When offered large discounts or incentives for opening a new credit card, resist the urge to open a new store credit card. If you fall for the temptation, your credit score will continue to drop. If you find things that seem wrong you should ask about them. There could be issues on your credit report that were made in error. Credit disputes will allow you to remove false information from your credit report. Make out a plan so that you can get rid of past due bills plus any collection agencies. Frequently contact any credit bureaus with which you are engaged in conflicts to expunge false or erroneous claims appearing on your credit report to stay updated on their progress. Note down and summarize every communication, whether it be by phone, post, or email so that you have a complete record of your efforts. Send any disputes by certified mail. Be sure to document all information if a bill collector is illegal. You should be aware of the laws that protect your rights as a consumer. Making monthly credit payments promptly is one of the best ways to build your credit score. Pay the minimum requirement at worst, but try to send something in. Just one missed payment will put a dent in your rebuilding efforts. Creditors will be sure to look at the correlation between your total debts versus your income. You will be looked at as a greater credit risk if your debt is too much for your income. You are not likely to be able to pay off the debt in full right away, but set up a system that will allow you to chip away at it. Maintain both a savings and a checking account. It is difficult to show you are capable of paying your bills if you do not have a checking account. Having a savings account is a great way to show that you are preparing for the future and not living paycheck to paycheck. Keeping spotless bank accounts shows that you are responsible, which is a positive sign to creditors. 
Having watched these simple tips, the only thing left now is to apply them. Having a good credit score is crucial to getting the best interest rates possible and is definitely worth the effort. Discuss your situation honestly with debt collectors and try to work with them. Inform them as to the amount you can pay, and the date you can pay for it. Be aware that they will negotiate. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the content on this channel and our website howtogrowcredit.com. Both with new content added daily. Also check out our list of credit building links below. If you like free, you can get a free stock valued at $2.50 to $250 from Webull by signing up with our affiliate link in the description. Deposit $100 into your Webull account within 30 days to get a second free stock valued $12 to $1,400. If you are ready to get started building your credit, we recommend the Discover It card. Use our link in the description to get a $50 statement credit just by using your card in the first three months. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Not only does it help us make new content for you, but it also tells YouTube to share this content with others. How to Grow Credit Steps to Grow Your Credit Score